Hello everyone. In today's session, you're going to discuss about bi-directional search in artificial intelligence. So far, we have discussed about all your breadth first, depth first, depth limited search in all. In all those searching, it is like we start from a starting uh, state and we are going to search for a goal state. Okay. So this uh, bi-directional search is a very special kind of searching where we exactly know the starting state and we exactly know the goal state. And we want to find a path between the start, starting and the goal state. Okay, and here again, like uh, we can, we have two ways, like uh, either we can use a breadth for search here or a depth for search too. Okay, so one way is starting from the starting state. Okay, so you're going to have two lists, two queues, like when I'm using a breadth for search. Uh, one starts with this starting node and another starts with the goal node. And uh, in from the starting node, we are going to find all the paths and we keep on searching. And from the goal state also, we keep on searching. So there will be some meeting point between it, right? So while starting from the starting node, finding towards the goal and goal towards the starting node, there will be some uh, meeting point, right? So that is the place where we stop the process. Okay. So rather than starting from the starting node and we keep on searching for a goal node, something like this. Okay, so if you want to start from the starting state and if this is my goal node, so what we do it in your usual breadth first search, we start from this node, keep on searching all these places. Okay, and finally we reach this. All the nodes will be visited when you are using breadth first search. Whereas when you want to use a bi-directional search, I start from this place, I start sequentially from this place also. Okay, and parallelly mark these two and this node. Okay, so this is attached, right? And from this, like towards uh, like from the forward and the backward side, it is run parallelly. And in the next step, while marking this and this, there is an intermediate, there is a log over here. Okay, so this node is already visited. Okay, and in the backward direction, we have visited it. Okay, so this is called a bi-directional search. And whenever we have a meeting point, we stop at this place and we try to find the path between the source and destination node. Okay, so this is called a bi-directional search and this can be done either using a breadth first search or a depth first search. Okay, so the ultimate goal or the reason why we are going for this is like when you exactly know the source node and destination node, it actually uh, no need to visit all the nodes over here. Okay, only very limited number of nodes are visited and the time complexity is reduced for searching. Okay, so like when you are doing your breadth breath first search, your time complexity will be going like uh, B power D. Okay, so instead of this, we can take up this as B power D by 2. The reason is we have split it into twice. Okay, half of the search from the top and half of the search from the bottom are actually happening. Okay, so it is always lesser than this B power 2, uh, sorry, B power D. So we are going for this bi-directional search. It is uh, really hard to implement like when you are going for this uh, implementation category, but very efficient. Okay. And uh, here the algorithmic working procedure will look like, uh, we'll be having like when you're using a breadth first search algorithm for it, we'll be having two queues. One is a start queue that is going to start from the starting node. And uh, you have another queue called end queue where it is going to start from the end node. Okay, if my 4 is my end, this is my starting node and this is my end node, it starts from 0, it starts from 4. And in a single iteration, I'll be calling both starting and ending. Okay, I'm going to find all the nodes connected with Q, uh, the starting Q, and I'm going to find all the nodes that are start, uh, that are connected with end Q2. Okay, so when you're going with the iteration, count of iterations, half of the count of iterations will be surely stopped using this bidirectional search algorithm. Okay, and this is very specifically used like when you are using this bidirectional search, you should exactly have a single source node and single goal node. That is very important. Okay, so when there is a unique starting state and unique goal state, then this algorithm is used. And when we exactly know what is the goal state and goal state exists in the graph, then we can go for this bidirectional search. And when you want to find the path from source to destination, then we can go for this kind of algorithm. Okay, so starts from the starting node start from the goal node, we keep on traversing and once we found a, an intermediate node, then we can stop processing with this. Okay, so this is called bi-directional search in artificial intelligence. Okay, so this is this has a very less iteration and we are going to uh, visit very lesser number of nodes for finding the path from source to destination. And when you are checking for this optimality, 
okay when we are whether it is optimal than the other algorithm when you are using a binary uh sorry by breadth first search it is optimal okay when you are using a breadth first search for finding it surely it will become an optimal algorithm and uh, when you are on focus on completeness okay so when you are using a breadth first search how does it works you'll have a searching algorithm like this right it checks for all possible paths from the source node to destination node. When you have a graph like this, and if I have my goal node here, when I am using your uh, breadth for search, I start from this place, keep on traversing, and I start from this place, I keep on traversing up. Okay, somewhere you'll have an intermediate node in this place. And when you want to use a depth for search for it, I start from this place, I keep on traversing towards the depth and again come back and take it. Whereas when I am going to start the parallel path process from the goal node to starting node, I take a very simple path. Okay, in a depth for search, when you are searching for a node in the leave node, it takes a simple path to reach the destination. When you know where exactly your goal node is, then we can directly go for the starting state. Whereas when you are using this procedure for it parallelly, it will go like this, like start from one place. And when you are trying to reach at this place and in, in another place, it goes like a parallel edges. Okay, so you don't find the intermediate node here. Rather, the intermediate node will be the starting node itself. Okay, so while using a breadth first search, you can say that the graph is complete. Whereas while using a depth first search, we cannot give a justification over there. Okay, your complexity will run again like the same process of it. Okay, so this is all about your bidirectional search. The algorithm is very, uh, or it is very um, effective. Okay, very effective in solving a, solving a problem. But uh, this exactly needs your source node and destination no nodes to be known before starting the process. Okay, thank you.